When you compare them to MBTs, heavy, medium, or even light tanks at first glance, armored cars do not look as though they can put up much of a fight. Don't let their toy-like appearance fool you, though. These vehicles are equipped with very real guns and really powerful engines to boot. And today, we're making a list of the best vehicles of this type in the game. Let's kick it off with the American M8 Greyhound. It's a classic armored car, both reliable and effective. Its gun is not the punchiest in the world, but it has a decent fire rate, allowing it to hold its ground against heavier opponents. On even terrain, the Greyhound will easily outrun any tank of its rank, but mud, water, snow, and sand obviously slow it down considerably. The next vehicle on the list is the SDKFZ2341, a German premium armored car. It has excellent mobility and a 20mm cannon that can easily pierce the defenses of light and medium tanks when engaging from the side. If you bite more than you can chew, there's always your superior speed to fall back on. This Puma can go at 90 kph both forward and in reverse, and it performs pretty well even when going off-road. Then we have the AEC Mark II, a gift vehicle found in the British tech tree. Thanks to its 57mm gun, it can take on any tank, including the heavies. Furthermore, being a proper armored car, the EC Mark II is very mobile, mostly on even terrain though. It's not that fast in reverse, but if you find yourself in a bit of a pickle, there is an option to deploy smoke to disengage safely and escape. Alright, moving on. The next up is the R3 T106FA, a very fast Italian vehicle. Armored cars are known for their speed, but this little fella is something else. On a good road, it can reach the speed of 115 kph. That's not all it can do, though. It comes with not one, but two 106mm recoilless rifles that can fire really effective heat and hash rounds. The R3 T106FA is also an excellent ambusher thanks to its small size. The bronze medal goes to the T-18 Boer Hound, an American gift armored car, which is also one of the more unusual vehicles of its class. In most cases, armored cars are pretty light and need to be handled with care, especially when going off-road, not to mention that they can't take much punishment, if any at all. Well, the 24-ton Boer Hound is anything but that. It has enough armor to qualify as a medium tank, and it doesn't have to go round obstacles, it just smashes right through them. The car is also equipped with a very respectable 57mm cannon, allowing it to perform really well in fights with both tanks and SPGs. Next up, and yeah, we know that it comes as no surprise to anyone, but it's just that good. We're talking about the AUBL 74 HVG, an event vehicle which is a part of the Italian tech tree. Thanks to its 60mm gun with a two-plane stabilizer and very punchy APFSDS rounds, it has a lot of firepower. It can easily destroy heavies or MBTs with just a couple of good shots. Moreover, the AUBL 74 HVG is very maneuverable, a trait shared by practically all Italian wheeled vehicles. Up to 100 kph on a good road, pretty good for a scout vehicle, we think. Finally, here's our champion, a German event vehicle that is actually directly related to the German car we discussed a few minutes earlier. All hail the mighty SDKFZ2344. Compared to its predecessor, it's armed with a much bigger gun, a 75mm Pac-40 cannon. 
that can shred through any enemy with its APC-BC rounds. Furthermore, this Puma's extreme mobility and really good surface traction and handling make it stand out even among its peers. As you see, these seemingly fragile cars can be very effective when fighting slow and bulky track vehicles, and some of them are capable of engaging much heavier enemies with no difficulty whatsoever. Were any of your favorites on this list? Come on guys, please, tell us in the comments below. We're waiting to hear from you.